Hello and welcome to the Hobo and His Girlfriend Wrestling Podcast. My name is Hobo Tom. I have my little Friendo shirt, which you can get at Pro Wrestling Tees at ProWrestlingTees.com. They have a word sale on today. I think it's like 25% off of purchase of five shirts or more. Which means I think the math comes to about you buy five, you get one free. Because they're about $20 each. My girlfriend should be coming over again this weekend. Great girlfriend. But I'm here to talk about wrestling. Wrestle, wrestle. First, to get some things out of the way, I'd like to thank all those that who've liked and subscribed and left a comment or email. And you can email at hoboandgirlfriend at gmail.com. Again, a little bit of a shout out. I do this for free because I truly appreciate what you guys do for me. Kind of just watching, subscribing, liking, leaving me comments, making me actually think. I dig that. So, Nostron, this next video clip, because of your comment, is for you. Kimberly Franklin when she first came to NXT. Again, that clip we saw was of Kimberly Franklin's entrance versus Boo! Sonya Deville. And Timothy Murtha, Timothy J. Murtha, because you subscribed to the Hobo and His Girlfriend Wrestling Podcast, there's going to be a bonus feature for you. You'll see. Well, let's get on. I, this has been a very weird week. Again, thank you, Nostrum, for leaving your comment. Again, if you want to have your name read on YouTube, and of course, Timothy James Murtha, please like, subscribe, leave a comment, and an email. And I think not by June 17th, but by July 17th, I will be live streaming. Oh, my notes. I think a contest whoever wins some silly contest gets my <laughs> illegible scribbles. Again, thank you guys. But let's get to the point. This is about SmackDown. I was wowed. This was good. Samoa Joe is the best talker on the mic that I've seen. Jeez, maybe he's the top three talkers. But the Mount Rushmore of talkers. And please leave a comment about your Mount Rushmore of talkers. First of all, Ooh, yeah, it's the Macho Man. Yeah. The cream always rises to the top. Yeah. Numero uno is the Macho Man. Two. What, you dumb son of a. Is of course Stone Cold Steve Austin. Can you smell? It's number three. The Rock. Play what? Samoa Joe's number four. He's up there. He's darn good. Again, comment. Who are who's your Mount Rushmore of wrestling talkers? Tell you what. Beat mine. But and this is because Samoa Joe. Open up SmackDown, takes the mic, just grabs a ladder, grabs a briefcase. Said this is good. This is mine. Big Daniel Bryan came down and said, eh, eh, do not talk about my daughter that way. Of course, Samoa Joe starts to run down. Daniel Bryan includes his wife and daughter into that. And then Bryan says, I'm going to break your leg. 
and that was Do Not Touch My Daughter Daddy Man by Daniel Bryan. Excellent. Again, everything about this the SmackDown was amazing. I don't know how they're going to do on the Go Home show next week. That's this is I don't know. This was darn good though. So again, he comes out. Says, "Don't you talk about my daughter? I'm gonna break your leg." And he had that look. Like, oh wow, it's gonna go down right now. We're not gonna wait. We're gonna fight now. Not even have a wrestling. Match, just fight. That was good. Big cast interrupt things. And runs on both the the, the, shrimp, the shrimp and the blimp. You fat bastard. I'm mean, going to Scott Steiner. Again, that was just good. It was fun. A good opening. I like that when they listen. This leads to a Shinsuke Nakamura versus Ty Dillinger. 10, 10, 10, 10. And again, I think just he's a little bit. There's a quick video about Ty and NXT. Oh, wait, maybe next. Yeah, I, my computer can only do so much. Again, this is a hobo editing process. And no, hobo productions. Again, held together with duct tape, a penny, some WD-40 sometimes. <laughs> and a lot of paper. <laughs> and some pennies. But again, Shinsuke Nakamura and Ty Dillinger. This was a darn fun match for these two. I mean, it's a good showing by both. You have the perfect 10. Shinsuke Nakamura teases the last man standing match where the ref where the last man at the 10, co 10 count wins. So every time you knock Ty Dillinger down with something, ah, ah, ah. and then the second, and then of course Ty Dillinger would get up, but the second time he did this, Ty jumped up and after nine said, Ten! And said, Come on! It was good. It was fun. This was, this was a surf and surf match, and I need more props. This was fun. I mean, this was a surf and surf match. If this, if this, if this was on NXT, geez, they would, this would have been flaming on. And the good stuff too at the steakhouse for 90 bucks. I'd pay for that. It was normally Hobo Tom. Would only pay one dollar for that. <laughs> Again, YouTube folks, let me know what movie that comes from. I know which one it does. Again, like, comment, and subscribe. Cheap plug. So again, of course, Nakamura wins. Then, of course, at the end, he pins him and also does the 10 count. Wow. <sighs> and that's good. That's, that's kind of a good, a really good lead up to the money in the bank. I don't know what they're going to do. Go home show. It's going to suck. Jeez, I hope not. Again, this has an AJ Styles interview. I want to say AJ Styles is so good on the mic. Those that are before him are just amazing. Though. He's good. Do not get me wrong. AJ Styles is great on the mic. He's a great wrestler. If Mount Rushmore had a fifth person, no. I don't know, he might be 6th or 7th, great talker. But that's over a course of, wow, like 30 or 40 years. That's good, though. He's good, though. Again, in ring, out of ring. Then we had a dance-off. This was kind of fun. That, 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 And it, I don't know, just harking back to the good old days of the Attitude Area where they were the... I showed my girlfriend a uh, 
She wanted to know what a bra and panties match was. So I showed her a clip of a bra and panties match. Very simple. Get your opponent down to her bra and panties. You get your hand raised as a winner. Most close win. But again, this was actually fairly classy. I mean, Lana came out. Lana is the best. Lana number one. Of course, it's Rusev Day! And again, it was just fun, though. Naomi came out, accompanied by the Usos. It was fun. It was good. I think this is going to tease the intergender three-person tag match, I think, next week for the Golem Show. We'll see. This on itself was fun. I mean, the crowd enjoyed it. You know what? For kind of a gimmicky, kind of non-wrestling show, I hate to say it, this is a surf and turf show. This show is amazing. This show is better than some pay-per-views they put on. Wow, and this was free. I don't know. Again, feel free to like or dislike or have disagreements. Please. Comments and emails. Subscribe. Thank you very much, folks. And that'll be the end of it, I promise. Again, it was fun. Lana just shows her athleticness. More classic dancer. Naomi, amazing dancer. Worked the heck out of stuff. Hey, they both get a thumbs up from me. Again, this was a surf and turf segment. That was really good. This led to a little sneak attack by Lana. They were back to back. Lana gives her the gives Naomi Naomi the backbreaker. Then again, of course, because the one girl attacked the other girl. Um, Jay, I think it was her husband. And Jimmy got involved, and of course, because Jay and Jimmy stepped in the ring, Aiden and Aiden English and Rusev stepped in the ring. A big schmoss. So I think it's going to lead up to a match next week. I hope it's okay. And they do things right. After this, this was this was a fast pace show. I was shocked. You have the Barn Miz versus the New Day. Surf and turf. I need more props. Send more comments, send more likes, and I will get more props, I hope. Again, they're so good. Classical tag team heel work. Ice, the isolation, the, the New Day, the New Day chance, the new, new Day working. Star is so good. I mean, even from his days in Independence versus Quackenbush, I mean, that was a freaking five-star match. I don't care what anyone says. That was a flame mignon match in a gym. That was amazing. Uh, so good. Sheamus is good. The Miz is great. The, the New Day. What can I say? I mean, there's nothing else to say. This was a surf and turf match. <sighs> I mean, the only thing keeping it below a fillet is that it was this, this Miz and some, and the Bar and a, as some tag team versus a New Day. That's it. Not that far away, folks. Again, the the New Day they have they do their action. They have their very fast paced match. I know there are rest holds in wrestling, but these rest holds either had purpose. Or they actually got you through the ads, which still suck. But at least they've timed it so so that the ads or the rest holds are during an ad, so you're not missing much. And it, it's a natural flow, though. So it seems like, okay, this time, yeah, he wants to slow the pace out. Reverse Shinlock, good. Oh, he gets up after five seconds. Rest hold my butt. That was just to say, okay, what do you want to do next? Let's do this and wow the crowd. So again, really good. It was fun. Again, the New Day, great tag team work. Very fast-paced. You had the New Day chance. New Day rocks. New Day rocks. However it goes. Uh-oh, who's that? Cheese pa rocks. Cheese pa rocks. She needs a little scratch here. Oh, wait. But she had, oh no, she doesn't want to make an appearance. Oh well. Again, really fun though. I mean, again, strength and speed. 
or strength versus speed. It's fun. It's great. Gotta love that contrast in style. So. The New Day went over. They pinned the Miz. We'll see what happens at Money in the Bank. Again, then the whole says, whoo, 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 whoo. It was fun. I was entertained. I don't think I got bored or took a look at the clock until, like, Big Cass started his beatdown. And by then, I'm like, 9.59. This is over. <laughs> Where's everything else? But again, this led to kind of Paige, I think, came in here somewhere. And an absolution of boo, Sonya Deville, Mandy Rose. Eh. It was, it was a good promo. At least it interacts with those that are past work. So again, this led to Paige building, building a match between Mandy Rose and Asuka. That was pretty good. I can't complain about it. This, this is, geez, this is the lowest point of the match. And this... It's a cheeseburger rating. Whenever you have a man you roast in a match, it's a cheeseburger. That's amazing. But again, this was a pretty good quality match. I mean, it started off the way it should have. And even though I say boo, Sonya Deville, boo, more boo. She did her role. She attacked Asuka, softened Asuka up for Mandy Rose to get a really good amount of offense in. And it was fun if it wasn't Mandy Rose and if, and if you knew Asuka wasn't going to lose to Mandy Rose. I mean, this would be a probably a surf and surf match. Mandy Rose versus anyone else in this kind of match. If this was Mandy Rose versus Becky Lynch, surf and surf! Surf and surf for everyone! I mean, it's just that good and entertaining. I mean, it is what it was. Asuka eventually gained, gains the upper hand by one of Mandy Rose's miscues or reversals. And, and again, because Asuka showed that a little vulnerability when she got jumped by Boo Sonya Deville. But hey, that's what Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville are supposed to do. They're supposed to soften up the opponent for the other. I get it. You should get it too. And again, it was fun. Again, Asuka eventually finished off Mandy Rose. Carmella was there as, as Carmella came out as, as the <laughs> guest commentator. Did a great job. This is good. This is going to be a good money in the bank. I mean, Backlash was. This could be. I believe some's coming up. What do we have here? I didn't know what could do that. Again, that's that's a movie reference. Again, comment to know if you would know what obscure movie references I'm making throughout this video. And this was really fun. Um, also, of course, went over. Then we have a backstage with Andrade Cien Almas and Sin Cara. I think the two of them were, or at least founded, Los Gobernales in Gobernales, Japan. Sin Cara started speaking Spanish to Almas. Vegas, tiny. She's four five. I don't care what they say she is. Almost as small. I don't know. I'm enjoying this though. Things are going well. We'll see what happens next week. Again, that would that would be a great thing. But the new loss of Bernalis to WWE. So I think in about one more month, New Japan Pro Wrestling coming to Daytona Beach, and hope and I will figure out or find a way to get there and post it on YouTube. And my friend Diamondback or Maverick Diamondback Maverick saw a New Japan show. I need to get some. Not get these. No, no hands.
so this led to the main event. We had Daniel Bryan versus Big Cass versus Samoa Joe. This was a flaming young match, even with Big Cass. Thank God he dropped Enzo. And again, if you want to go see Enzo Amore's music rap video, go, I don't know, go to, to YouTube and look up something, something. Consensual. Blah. Promise my girlfriend person use bad language on this. That's why. I'm trying to be a good hobo. But again, consensual male genitalia on YouTube. That's your own thing. I think the whole often show had an episode about it. Which is a very entertaining for show show. Do not get me wrong. I think it's my second favorite show about wrestling. It's been really good. I like it. Cheap pop for them. But again, this was a flaming young match. Everyone got their spots in. Everyone had their moments. To start off with double team on cast. Get the big guy out of the ring. So that Daniel Bryan and Samoa Joe can go at it. That was really good. Samoa Joe went flying through the ropes. The only thing Samoa has to do now is pull a muscle buster on someone. Ooh, money in the bank off the ladder muscle buster. That would be sweet. Not going to happen. But you never know. You can always pray to the wrestling deities. Yes. The seven deities of the broken Matt Hardy. Yes. Again, a really great match. You had every wrestler got their spot. They all had their chance of the pinfall or submission. It was good. I think and this guy towards the end, and this is kind of when I started to look at the clock. I'm like, wow, what time is it? And I'm like, this one quick. I don't think Brian Daniels tapped out. I think he just went to. So that's really good. I mean, that's the way it should be. He's a tough guy. He's not going to tap out. He's going to go to sleep. And of course, Samoa Joe wins. Cass comes in as the heel. Beats up Daniel Bryan. End of show. Again, I think I took a look at the clock from the beginning of the show. And it was like 9.58 or 9.57. I'm like, that went quick. Again, I'd like to thank everyone for liking and subscribing. It's time to get some advertisements in. Southern Pro Lucha Libre coming to Daytona Beach sometime in July. Again, please like, subscribe, and share. Leave a comment. If you leave a comment, some goodie will be posted on you in your honor on my YouTube page. So again, we saw what I left for Nostrin. Nostrin, you are also getting an email probably sometime tomorrow. This has been a weird, busy week for me. Tomorrow, you shall get an email. And to Timothy J. Murtha, you're getting left with this. Everyone take care. Have a good weekend. Drink your red wine. Eat more pizza. Bye.